everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So what we're going to do in this video in the episode 3 for the Evernote student series is we're going to look at my university calendar or the one that I use to break down all of my projects or modules and uh, showcase like the progress of them as I go across my term. So uh, what I'm going to actually do is bring up my own personal Evernote and show you what they look like so that you can have a related basis because I know it's hard sometimes to get context. Now I talked about this in the first episode for the Evernote for student series but this is going to be the video where I go into detail. So as you can see this is a note I organize everything on. Uh, it's fairly like it's just a one pager really like if you had it as an A4 that's the aim really to squeeze everything into one and the real goal of this is you know you guys are probably out there and you're probably panicking about all of the things that are going on at university, like, oh my god, what modules am I doing? What's my current grade? Uh, what have I actually got to do? What's a percentage of each? Like, nobody really has, like, nobody I know has gone, okay, this is a holistical view of all of the stuff I'm doing at the moment. Now, this is, this is my way, so I can just click in and see everything. I can go, okay, I've submitted that, I've started that, I've, I, I know what percentage each thing is. So let's run through what that is. So let's start from the top. So here, what I put, and I've only added this in the last two months, is my second and final year results. So my second year result and my final year result uh, as, as it's going along. So that's 50%. And, and I also have a projected grade too, which is nice for me because I can see, you know, look, I'm really average student there, but it's a nice way for me to see, okay, oh, look, that's what grade I'm getting. Scroll down here, you can see I've got modules, name, progress, and breakdown. I wanted to keep this really simple. I didn't want to overclutter this. So on module, uh, I always keep the sort of uh, module there so it doesn't get too messy with the name. So if you've got module names, or you could shorten that down to a code, that's really handy. Um, have the percentage below it as well. I've marked it in highlighter. So all you can do uh, when you're on the Mac or any version, you just click this highlight button and it will highlight the text, which is nice because like it gives you a quick uh, pointer to go and see fast. Like, okay, that's something I need to look at. I've named it, so I put the dissertation project. Um, I've indicated the progress of it. So whether it's submitted, whether I'm writing it or like whether I'm 90% done or I'm submitted it. This will give me, a, this, like, this is handy because like sometimes you go, oh my God, I haven't submitted that piece of course. Like, but maybe you did three all nighters, I don't know. And you go, oh my God, I actually did submit it. So don't panic. And over here you've got the breakdown. So what I have in the breakdown is the name of the piece. So what the actual name of the piece is. This helps sometimes when I'm searching an email. So I'm like, oh, okay, this strategic plan, it's called strategic plan. The, the lecturer refers to it in emails as a strategic plan. And it helps me keep uh, knowledgeable about, because like sometimes people get downed by the, like, look, marketing management, but that was called the strategic marketing plan. Um, so it's almost helping me. So as you can see here, I've called this one strategic. Next to it, I have the date of the deadline, so actual date when it's got to be handed in by, and then how many words it is. Um, this is handy because I know like where, what I need to be hitting, uh, how big the piece of work is, uh, and as you can see, how much percentage of this module it is. So that's fi that. This one's fifty percent of this overall module. So as you can see here, I've started. I've submitted this one. So this is a fully submitted one. I didn't do too well in this one, but. I've got submitted and I have the result because obviously 20 days after I know the result, I'll add it to it so I have that record there. Um, and then obviously 50% here, 50-50, so that's 100. Uh, my maths isn't great. Uh, and then 62 uh, plus 65 divided by two is then 63.5. So that's my overall grade for that module. And the same again, this is the same theory, uh, but this is a great way because I can actually predict what grades I'm getting at the moment. And down here, this is the stuff that, so for example, this is the module that I'm on at the moment that I refer to in some of the other videos. Um, the coursework is 25%, coursework is 25% there. They're the deadline days, uh, so next week, and I've started it. Um, and I'll put the grade in there, and then I'll just keep updating this. This is just an overall view. It's a great breakdown. Now, I, I, I recommend every student should do something like this. Like I don't care what variation this is. This is a great way at the end of the day to see everything at a glance. Now, I've done a couple of these beforehand. Um, I've actually created similar versions, but this is the version I'm on currently. I probably won't need it in a couple of months, but I'm continually adapting to it. So if you're creating this and you're worrying, oh my God, I don't like the way he's doing this, create it like this and then adapt it to your style. Maybe you want to know like a separate column of exactly how much each module is. 
Luckily, each module here is exactly 16.5%, so I don't need to write that down because they're all the same. But let's say you have a weighted module, so this might be like 50% of the grade, then that might be handy to know so that you can go, okay, the rest are... 10%. Jesus, my ass is bad. But you know what I mean. Uh, you can have that there. Anyway, guys, that was the video on University Breakdown. I hope you found it ha helpful. I'm looking forward to sharing more videos with you. In episode four, we're going to cover how to clip into Evernote uh, for like as a student context. So being able to clip, clip in any like you know, like university work or any university references that might be handy or general websites and information that could be progressive towards your career. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm looking forward to sharing more pieces with you. So make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.